Oh, hey. Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to school. Hi, Mr. Presley here with you. Today is Thursday, December 2nd, 2021. We're glad you're back with us on this awesome Thursday for learning. Looks like it's going to be nice outside. A little chilly today. I think the high is only going to be 49, but it's supposed to clear up today and tomorrow is supposed to be beautiful as well. So let's take those nice uh, fall days that are crisp and clear and sunny um, as much as we can because we know we have a lot of rainy ones. We've had a very rainy fall, the highest on record. Hey, I'm getting ready to wash my hands. Are you washing your hands a lot? You should be. In fact, not just with COVID, but just all the time we should be washing our hands well because that helps prevent things from colds and flus and all the other things that happen, especially during the winter time when we're inside more than when we're, than when we're outside. So let's wash your hands. So what I do is you should wet your hands first. Got my hands wet. Get some soap. Now remember, soap, I'm gonna turn the water off to save some uh, water conservation, saving water. But you should wash your hands for about 20 seconds. A lot of times we wash, you know, the inside part of our hands, but we forget the back part. And you know what actually is the part that keeps most of the germs on our hands? Our fingernails, look, look at my fingernails. So you really wanna make sure you wash your fingernails. That's where most of the germs are hiding and staying. So again, you wash your hands inside your fingers, but really those fingernails, that's where they, they keep them. That's why they say don't bite your nails, which I have a hard time not doing. So you rub for 20 seconds, really good. Get that soap in. Here, I'm gonna turn the water back on. Then you rinse the soap off. So you don't have to rinse. If you're putting soap on and you're rinsing it off right away, that's too fast and you're not allowing the soap to help you get all the germs and dirt off. Remember, um, our hands are probably the first place that we're going to get dirt and stuff and germs because after I wash my hands, remember to dry them. You wanna dry them because that also helps if they, if they stay wet, um, that doesn't help for, for germs as well. But then after you dry them, the main thing um, is to remember, throw your towel away, and now you've got clean hands. The big thing too is wash your hands often. The other part is to keep them away from your face. The more you have your hands up by your face, your nose and your mouth, that's where you get germs and then they come in. And then, you know how that goes, you end up getting a cold or something like that or a virus that happens. So that's what we wanna do, make sure we're washing our hands often. Washing your hands is the best way to get rid of germs and dirt that you have on your hands. And really, the dirt on your hands, that's where the germs kind of attach to. So they attach to the dirt. Boy, my hands are really clean because I, I washed them for a long time. That's important. Um, so remember that as we touch surfaces around us, then we touch our face. Um, that's how we spread germs and we get colds this time of year. So not just for the coronavirus, but for just your own safety, um, and keeping yourself healthy from colds and those kind of things. Wash your hands often. And like I said, wash them for a while and wash under your, with your fingernails and make sure you get your hands all the way done. Then put them back under the water. Because if you put them under the water with the soap, you're just washing the soap off and you haven't really got to use the soap what it's intended to do, which is to scrub and get the dirt and germs off your hands. All right, keep that in mind. Hey, no birthdays to announce, but I am in, look, Mrs. Gillespie's room. I'm in second grade, Mrs. Gillespie's room. No birthdays today, but tomorrow's Mrs. Gillespie's birthday. I know that. So um, just shh, don't tell her. We'll keep that a secret for now. Hey, boys and girls, let's have an awesome day of learning. One thing I want to remind you of, tomorrow is the final day to turn in your yearbook cover contest entries. So if you have not turned yours in, tomorrow's the last day to turn it in. And then we'll be looking and selecting the one entry that'll be the cover of our yearbook. We'll do that before we go to winter break. Um, we won't be announcing it tomorrow or anything, but tomorrow is the last day to turn yours in. So please do so. I know you've been working hard. We've got a lot of great entries already. I'm expecting a lot more tomorrow on the last day. All right, boys and girls, let's have a great day of soaring at Frylands Elementary School. That's soar, safety, ownership, acceptance, and respect. Let's do that today and have a great day of learning. And always remember, your Frylands family cares about you. Teachers, please lead your students in the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm going to get off to learning right now. See you later.